85% of the total mineral in your body is a calcium. There's 147 different diseases you can get from a calcium deficiency. We're just going to quickly go over the top 10 when it comes to the number of people affected and the amount of money involved. Let's look at osteoporosis, the number 10 killer of adults in the United States. Uh, remember, 75% of the, those over age 65 who fracture a hip or a major leg bone don't live 90 days. Also, it's the most horrible disease when it comes to human misery and dollars expended. Osteoporosis, think of the special vans and the lift gates and the ramps and the elevators, the special plumbing in homes and, and public buildings, special parking places, wheelchairs and walkers and canes. Think of the beds and the chairs that are little electric motors that lift you up when you can't stand up by yourself. Physical therapists, joint replacement surgeries, pharmaceuticals, doctor's visits. We're talking billions and billions of dollars for nothing more than a calcium deficiency disease. Now, as horrible as a disease as osteoporosis is in human beings, we don't have osteoporosis in animals because we don't have Blue Cross Blue Shield, major medical hospitalization, Medicare and Medicaid to pay for nonsensical surgical treatments for mineral deficiency. We've learned that by putting animals who are weaned off their mother's milk on calcium, as soon as they're weaned, they won't get arthritis and osteoporosis. It's amazing how that works. Receding gums. Dentists and dental hygienists will tell you to floss and brush after every meal. If you believe that works, I have some oceanfront property in Montana to sell you. If you have receding gums, periodontitis, gingivitis, pyorrhea, loose teeth, bridges and plates, you actually have osteoporosis of the facial bones and the jaw bones. We don't get receding gums in animals, even though they don't floss or brush. That's because we've taken care of the osteoporosis problem in animals. Arthritis. 85% of all arthritis is called wear and tear arthritis. Osteoarthritis, degenerative arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis, these things are nothing more than osteoporosis of the joint ends of the bones. Hypertension, high blood pressure, as you've learned, has nothing to do with salt or salt restriction. 85% of hypertension not related to kidney disease, which is most of them not related to kidney disease, is in fact a calcium deficiency. Insomnia is not a deficiency of sleeping pills, halcyon or barbiturates, it's a deficiency of calcium. Kidney stones, bone spurs, heel spurs, and calcium deposits. Again, the medical profession has a malignant, dumb belief that these things are due to too much calcium in your diet, tell you to give up calcium, when in fact, you only get kidney stones, bone spurs, heel spurs, and calcium deposits when you have raging osteoporosis. You actually need more calcium, more magnesium, not less. Cramps and twitches. Raise your hand. How many of you have ever had a toe cramp, foot cramp, leg cramp in your life? Sure. That's the first symptom of a calcium deficiency that most people recognize. So if you've ever had that sometime in your life, you've had a calcium deficiency. Then you have PMS. The University of California at San Diego came out and said that 85% uh, of the emotional and physical stuff of PMS can be relieved, eliminated, and cured. They use the cure word by taking three times the RDA of calcium. Low back pain has nothing to do with disc problems. I know you've heard of people, maybe even yourself, have had a disc surgery for back pain. And after the surgery, you still had the pain, maybe even worse, because Back pain is not caused by disc problems. If you have a disc problem, you can have numbness and tingling, maybe even paralysis if it's very severe, but disc problems do not cause pain. 